search for answers today in the death of a beached whale in Galveston. We've been following the story since yesterday. This morning, an necropsy was performed on the whale. Child 2's Haley Hernandez joins us live from Galveston with the latest. Haley. Yeah, guys, so this is obviously a very massive job. We're not showing you all of it because it's a pretty graphic scene behind me, but you can see uh, you can see part of the whale. Now, a whale of this species, they say, can get to be up to 100,000 pounds. Now, since we've been here, we've seen them roll that whale over. That's partly so they can determine the gender, and then they were able to begin the necropsy, which should tell them how the whale got here in the first place. But as you can imagine, people are coming from all over the region just to take a look. It's a precious area, and uh, so if there's something going on, we're kind of determined to be involved. They're coming from all over the region to see the magnificent mammal. Just, it's a beautiful creature. It looks like it should be alive and out in the ocean. But the curiosity goes beyond the sight of it. Even marine experts are anxious to finish the necropsy and gather details on the deep sea animal that rarely makes it to shore. There's still very little known about um, whales of this size, um, so any information we collect is helpful on these guys. Um, but. If we could learn more about what caused the animal to come ashore, um, then that would be um, very useful information and would, um, you know, lead us to knowing more about what may be happening out in the Gulf. They plan to bury the animal just a few feet from where it's been sitting on shore. They had to dig deep enough to deter people from bothering it, but shallow enough to keep the animal from the Gulf waterline. Honestly, when it comes to a necropsy, we may not always find upon gross necropsy right here on the beach why this animal is stranded. It may be weeks or months before we get the analysis back to determine um, exactly what may be going on and we're able to kind of put the pieces of the puzzle together. So this process right now, they say, is typically an all-day event. They're going to take some of these organs, send them off to be tested. They say that nine out of ten times when a whale makes it to shallow water like this, it's been sick for some time. Reporting live in Galveston, I'm Haley Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.